I'm Daniel Archibugi. I'm professor of innovation, uh, governance and public policy here at Berbe College and I also work at the Italian National Research Council in uh, Rome. This new book uh, is uh, somehow the end of a story. It's an intellectual story which started uh, 20 years ago when I started to work on the globalization of science and technology. And uh, since then uh, my, I worked with many colleagues uh, which now are in different institutions uh, and uh, this book uh, was a venture which uh, I've started uh, with a younger colleague, Andrea Filippetti, and uh, has allowed uh, to put together quite a large number of colleagues from different parts of the world, uh, each of them bringing their own expertise uh, about one of the fundamental issues of our age, namely what's happening to science, technology and innovation in a highly globalized world. How is knowledge is generated? Why is generated? Who is going to benefit from it? And how is going to be exploited? Who is profiting from it economically? I wish to thank very much my colleagues because all of them made an effort to respond in a positive way to our comments, to engage in discussion with the chapters. And hopefully, you know, this book will be a milestone in this field. Well, of course, when you write a handbook, uh, you address mostly the community of those who have still time to read. And these are the students, especially the uh, postgraduate students. But I think that also our colleagues uh, will be quite interested to have a, a, a toolkit where you will find out uh, quite a lot of information in a rather organized, uh, in an organized way. Of course, our ambition is larger. For example, there are implications for public policies. To what extent does it make sense today to follow national uh, uh, science and technology policy? Or to what extent uh, we should move towards uh, a transnational development of science and technology innovation? As, for example, already happened within the European Union, as it happened with other ventures which uh, involve uh, academic communities from different countries uh, and therefore you know hopefully this uh, book uh, will provide some guidance uh, or at least some information on how things have evolved over the last years and what the outcome uh, that you can expect to get when you develop national programs or when you manage somehow to develop uh, programs uh, at the international level. My colleague Andrea Filippetti was full of enthusiasm. He transmitted enthusiasm to me. He was eager to get in touch with a larger number of scholars. And therefore, I think that, uh, you know, to work with a younger colleague is really a blessing. And that was uh, one of the best parts.